hi everyone welcome back today in this video we are going to discuss the petty cash book but before watching this video please make sure you have watched the previous videos we have discussed till now the single column cash book double column as well as triple column and the only cash book that was left was petty cash book now that is also we are going to cover in this video okay so let's start this video and let's understand what is this petty cash book now first what is the meaning of petty cash book see it's simple petty means small cash book you all know it's a book in which we record all the cash transactions so basically you can say small cash book or you can say mini cash book isn't it yes so what will happen is in the business you will have two sorts of cash book. you will have main cash book which can be single column double column or triple column and then you will have separately another cash book which is called as petty cash book fine we got that we'll have two cash book main cash book which is which can be single double triple and petty cash book which is a separate cash book but now why do we have this separate petty cash book that's because there will be some sorts of payments happening in the businesses which are very small in comparison to the you know the main business that's happening so that's why what will happen is those sorts of small small payments are not going to be recorded in the main cash book but in the petty cash book it will be recorded in the petty cash book what sorts of small payments you will ask small payments small expenses means such as you know for example let's say if a customer has come into your shop and for the customer you are buying tea coffee yeah 50 rupees 30 rupees whatever it is juice whatever you are buying let's say you have bought some stationery pencil sharpener rubber in your shop or maybe you have you know paid some taxi fare uh, bus fare all these things small small expenses which you are incurring in your daily business and which are very small in comparison to your actual business yeah the main trading which you are doing it's very small and because of that it will be not recorded in the main cash book but it will be recorded in petty cash book is that okay that's the concept of petty cash book it's a book in which we record small small expenses such as staff refreshment postage taxi fares stationery etc and then one more thing you have to understand regarding petty cash book which is very important that is petty cash book is not like the other cash book it is not like it is not like single column double column triple column cash book no here it's just a subsidiary book purely subsidiary book in the other cash book videos i have told you that cash book is not just a subsidiary book but also the principal book yeah all the cash books single column double column triple column what was happening over there the cash column and the bank column they were equal to the ledger account of cash account and bank account but here it's not like that here petty cash book is not equal to petty cash ledger account is that okay if you are preparing petty cash book in your business then what does that mean again you have to separately prepare what ledger account of petty cash okay you have to prepare petty cash ledger account separately in the ledger is that clear yes so it's not an alternative to ledger account just a subsidiary book now there is one more important thing you have to understand regarding petty cash book you know how the process will work and also you have to understand the impress system of maintaining petty cash book and you know most of the businesses will be maintaining their petty cash book under impress system only and that is the only system we are going to understand over here so let's understand that now let's take this simple example to understand how the petty cash book will be maintained under impress system okay so what will be happening is in the business there will be two cashiers head cashier and petty cashier head cashier will be responsible for all the payments and receipts and also they will be maintaining the general cash book okay and then this is you you are maintaining what petty cash book you are responsible for managing small day to day cash payments all right so at the beginning of the period let's say 1st january okay or 1st april let's say you will receive money from the head cashier you will receive money from the head cashier 500 rupees let's say now head cashier is telling to you see mr petty cashier keep this 500 and whatever expenses that will be happening small small expenses just you know pay that yeah incur those expenses and keep the receipts with you i will see that at last at the end of the period now the period will also be decided yeah what's the period for the petty cash is it one week fortnight 15 days uh one month one year whatever it is usually it will be a week week or one month okay so 
that period will be decided at the beginning of the period head cashier will give cash to the petty cashier and that's the only way petty cashier will get the money only from the head cashier okay petty cashier is not getting any other income okay not from customers nothing he will get cash petty cashier will get cash only from the head cashier is that clear right now let's say you know in the business stationery was purchased bus fare was incurred snacks were purchased for the staff for employees or whatever it is fine so these sorts of expenses were incurred 20 rupees 60 rupees 20 rupees in total how much it is 100 60 plus 20 plus 20 that's 100 so the money left after a week let's say after a week was 400 400 rupees now what will happen now at the end of the period at the end of the week petty cashier will report back to the head cashier see head cashier these are the receipts of the stationery i have purchased this is the bus ticket this is the receipt of the you know the snacks which i have purchased from the supermarket all these things he will present to the head cashier the report will be given fine i mean the petty cash book only the copy of that and everything will be given so at last head cashier what the head cashier will do head cashier will you know authorize everything and then head cashier will say to the petty cashier see mr petty cashier you have 400 rupees with you keep that with you okay keep that with you only i will just give you 100 more to bring this 400 back to the original amount of 500 rupees understand this properly what happened petty cashier reported to head cashier see head cashier these all things have happened these are the expenses i have incurred in this one week i have 400 rupees left with me what am i supposed to do head cashier said see mr petty cashier i'm gonna reimburse you i'm gonna you know top up your amount back to the original petty cash this 500 money which was given to the petty cashier this is the original amount fixed amount okay this is also called as impressed or it's also called as petty cash okay so what head cashier has done head cashier has given 100 rupees to bring this 400 to its original petty cash amount that's 500 okay this is the thing that will be happening this is the process okay always at the end of the period head cashier will replenish will reimburse the amount okay will replenish the petty cash and at the end of the period always the amount will become 500 i mean in the next week at the first day this petty cashier will have again 500 to spend okay this is called as impress system maintaining the cash book under impress system petty cash book what has happened over here fixed amount of money is given to petty cashier in the beginning petty cashier spends during the period in the end in the end details are submitted to head cashier okay petty cash book copy and all these things are submitted the receipts invoices evidences of the transaction that have happened and then at last fourth head cashier authorizes and everything and head cashier reimburses the amount spent 100 rupees he spent 100 rupees was reimbursed by the head cashier and the amount from 400 went back to the original petty cash amount that was 500 okay see here and the balance will be back to the fixed amount this is the process of petty cash so in this way the petty cashier will always begin every period with an amount equal to the petty cash 500 in this example is that clear this is the process of maintaining the petty cash book under impress system now let's move on to a practical example and the format also directly we'll see over there okay it's easy it's not difficult it's very very simple fine now here we have a practical question of petty cash book let's understand how to do this see here prepare a petty cash book on the impress system from the following transactions okay now first you have to understand that you will always think yourself as the petty cashier okay and then you will do this question always do that right so see the first transaction we have on january 1st what is happening received 100 rupees for petty cash what is this you have received 100 rupees from the head cashier okay and this is the money you are going to spend during the period and then at last you will report back to the head cashier to get this 100 rupees reimbursed not the entire 100 whatever you have spent out of that 100 you know that fine so now you don't know the format of petty cash book you haven't seen that so let's have a glance on the format okay so see the format over here and don't take the amount seriously okay this is just an example the amounts are very small over here don't take it seriously 
now see the format over here it kind of looks messed up yeah really complicated but it's not complicated believe me it's really simple what's the format then see we have receipt column over here whatever money you are going to receive you are going to take over here and one important disclaimer you are only going to receive the money from whom only from the head cashier only from the head cashier that's all okay you will not have any other income only head cashier fine and then you have date column voucher number column particulars column now in particulars column you all know you will take buy to and all that yeah but important thing is in petty cash book you only have one particulars column you can also make you know another one if you want you can take a particulars column before this you know this debit column this receipt column you can do that but you know it's not good to do, to do that because you already have so many columns isn't it so that's why only one particulars column is enough yeah this debit amount the particulars of this debit amount 100 you will take over here only to cash is that clear what is that transaction let's understand right here only see you have received 100 rupees petty cash is increasing by 100 so write the amount in the debit column 100 write the amount in the debit column 100 why it increased because you have got cash from the head cashier now you will not take head cashier name over here no you will take the main cash book over here okay main cash account so two cash is that okay because it will hit the main cash account main cash is decreasing because of petty cash okay so petty cash increase right that's why we wrote in the debit column fine you got that fine so we're discussing the columns and then see here we have credit column this total is a credit column understand that this is a credit column and you know all the transactions will be recorded in this credit column only because in petty cash what happens that petty cash is going to be spent by the petty cashier i mean in the business so all the transactions will come over here all the transactions in the credit column only and then what you will do is you will have separate column for expenses because the expenses which are being incurred this will be happening frequently okay frequently every two days three days something like that okay it will be happening frequently so that's why we will have separate column for expenses see here conveyance cartage yeah expense one expense two expense three and so on so that at last what we can do is we can make a sum out of all these columns expense columns and can see and identify how much we have spent on this category of expense this category of expense yeah in total so that we can control these expenses better okay how much we can save and all that is that clear so this is the format and at last we'll do the balancing we'll see that practically only is that clear so let's start with the second transaction you have got how to do the first transaction let's see the second transaction now see the second january transaction paid bus fare rupees 0.50 yeah so that's 50 paise don't take that amount seriously okay don't take that amount seriously it's just an example so now what are we going to call is we are going to call all these bus fare cab fare as what as conveyance okay traveling expenses so see here what happened to our petty cash if we have paid the bus tickets our petty cash has decreased so write the amount in the credit column because of conveyance traveling expenses we call it as convenience okay by conveyance write the amount in the credit column and then also make a column for conveyance separately okay 0 0.50 is that clear the same way you are going to record all the expenses it's simple it's not difficult i don't want to teach you also it's so simple see here paid cartage 2.50 okay so come here petty cash is decreasing write the amount in the credit column 2.50 buy cartage okay buy cartage make the cartage separate column right over there also 2.50 clear this is the way you're going to do next transaction next transaction we have is see here paid for postage and telegrams how much five rupees so petty cash is decreasing because of because of postage and telegrams write the amount in the separate postage and telegram column that's five rupees is that clear you understand right what's happening yes and then next we have paid wages for casual laborers how much six rupees so write the amount in the credit column six rupees wages okay because of wages because of wages and separate wages column six rupees clear fine next you have what next you have stationery. see here paid for stationery. how much four rupees so petty cash is decreasing write the amount in the credit column see here buy stationery four yeah and also write in the separate column of stationery four rupees clear fine and then you will have repetitive you know expenses see here paid tonga charges how much is that two 
two rupees so tonga charges means conveyance only okay so see petty cash is decreasing two rupees by conveyance okay traveling expense fine in conveyance again you are gonna write next you have see here paid for the repairs to chairs 15 rupees so now here you are going to take maybe only sundry expenses yeah it's some expenses which will not classify it as anything okay so see here because it's just an expense which you cannot identify properly just as a repairs or something like that yeah because it's not a specific repairs account there may be some other repairs account so that's why you are going to identify it as sundry's account okay collection of expenses okay miscellaneous you can say fine so buy repairs to furniture Ca petty cash is decreasing by 15 rupees because of repairs to furniture and you are going to take that where you're going to take that as sundries okay miscellaneous expense fine next you have see here bus fare cartage it's simple bus fare one rupees cartage four rupees see here petty cash is decreasing petty cash is decreasing because of bus fare that's conveyance one rupee take it in the conveyance column separate column and then cartage four rupees take it in the cartage column this way you are going to do it's not difficult at all the same thing you are I'm, I'm repeating right now postage and telegrams that's seven rupees tonga charges three rupees so postage and telegrams separate columns we have for that so see here postage and telegrams seven rupees seven rupees yeah petty cash is decreasing write them on the credit column because of postage and telegrams separate columns also you are going to write and then conveyance three rupees okay it's decreasing because of conveyance so conveyance here also and then separate column also then we have this cartridge again cartridge we have three rupees so cartage three rupees three rupees in cartage column and then we have stationary two rupees so write stationary two rupees two rupees yeah it's simple it's so repetitive same thing you are doing refreshment to customers five rupees so see refreshment to customers we will take that in sundries okay separate miscellaneous expense column general expenses they have called over here see petty cash is decreasing because of refreshment to customers or by general expenses and you will take it over here in sundries five rupees fine you will make a total of all of these expense columns you will get the total over here okay fine so now what will happen now what you will do is you will make a total of this credit column also that's equal to 60 rupees now see this properly you have to understand this see 60 rupees okay so 60 rupees you have you know spent you got 100 you made all these payments yeah you made all these payments so you have paid 60 rupees you have spent 60 rupees the money that is left with you is what see here 100 on the debit side here you have just do the balancing 100 over here and 100 over here okay total on both the sides and then the balancing figure 100 minus 60 what you have spent 100 minus 60 that's equal to 40 rupees okay in cash book we didn't used to do this i mean we didn't used to take this 60 how much we have spent and all directly what we used to do take the total 100 minus all these amounts we used to do yeah all these amounts but here we will make a total first okay 60 and then subtract and we'll get by balance carried down that is 40 40 rupees right so 40 rupees is the money that is left with the petty cashier with you all right so that's the money and then what you're going to do is you are going to you know transfer that by balance carried down to the next period next period maybe february let's say not february it's fortnight so january 15 it will be okay january 15 or what it's for one week only it's for one week only so january 1 january 6 so january 8 okay one day holiday was there so january 8 so january 8 over here you have how much balance 40 balance and then head cashier will give you the remaining money which you have spent previously 60 rupees yeah so 60 rupees additionally will come from the head cashier so again your balance is how much on 8th on 8th of january next week next accounting period in this petty cash your balance has become what 100 again and then in the next week you are again going to spend that money is that clear this is how the petty cash book will work it's not difficult at all so this is how you will do it that's all for this video see you in the next video bye